Hello, hello everybody. The Blue Fox here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Voidigo. Now, um, this game is a roguelike twin stick shooter. Uh, it's kind of like the, the best way I can sort of describe it. Now, this isn't going to be my first look at Voidigo. Um, there was an issue with recording, but uh, I'm going to keep on playing it and um, I'm going to show you that this game is actually pretty neat. I'm looking I'm looking for more of this game. So, first off, the art style is incredibly cute. Um, <laughs> this character here is adorable. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna... It, I only have access to this one character, though. I'm not sure if there even are more of them. The game is in early access, as it is. Um, we do have a choice of weapons. Um, one thing that I like is that this game does have melee weapons. So you know what? Let's let's actually use ourselves a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, let's let's go to balanced. I, I'm still not that good at this game, so <laughs> kind of do that. So one thing about the melee weapons is that the melee weapons allow you to have a shield. Um, so that's kind of cool. I actually I, I actually really dig that. Uh, you can play this game with keyboard and mouse or with a controller. Uh, I'm currently playing it with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Now, your weapons all have durability, so I kind of have to watch out for that. Um, you can get ammunition, uh, and ammunition will be applied to the gun that you currently have. Um, or if you have a melee weapon, it adds durability to the melee weapon. You can bounce on enemy's heads, and it kind of stuns them. Boring bazooka. Let's get the bazooka. Now we could swap out our bedagger. I kind of like the bedagger. Uh, with every melee weapon, or with every ranged weapon, you do have a backup melee strike, and that's kind of to prevent you from running out of ammo and not being able to do anything. So, thankfully, there is that. Um, when it comes to bosses, uh, you can fight the boss at any time. It's just roaming around, and you can discover it. Uh, but you can't kill it. Um, the boss's health bar is actually gated. Uh, I'll save that health. Uh, so you can only take out a certain amount of the boss's health, depending on how much of the area you've explored. <laughs> Bazooka. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that on the boss. So let's uh, let's kill everything with our knife until we uh, get to the boss and waste the ammo. Ammo is kind of precious. Is that the boss? No. Okay, it's just this thing. So these these crystals here. Uh, these crystals here are what actually protect the boss's health. You have to run around, find them, and crush them. And then if you look at the top of the screen, you see that now more of the boss's health bar has been removed. Or has been unlocked. So that's the boss. Um, I am going to run that away, because uh, I cannot kill him right now. So let's just run away. Alright, we could buy ammunition or health. I don't think I want to do either of those. Now, I don't actually know what, what bonus you get for repeated bounces, but it does it does count them. I just don't know what it does. Uh, bouncing on enemies is still useful, though, because it, it stuns them. Alright, let's... 
let's hop in here. See what there is. Oh, another thing about melee weapons is you can actually cut enemy bullets. Oh, but it does give. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, our weapon is now broken. You can still use it, it's just severely handicapped. Doing this does. <laughs> yeah, you got these little weird, these little weirdos here. I don't know what, I don't know what they're all about. It's just much, much weaker. All right, there's the key, which opens this, which gives us. Okay, the helping hand, the human bandolier, speedy golden feet. I'll take the helping hand. Faster reloads. Okay. Alright, what do we get from here? Uh, well, since I have no more use for this weapon, I'm going to swap it for the double revolver. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright. Okay, so that thing gets thrown out here. Because once you leave those areas, you can't go back into them. Recycling station. So if you don't like your current weapon, in fact, he's still back there, but let's do this. We're gonna grab the sword, because the sword can't be used anymore. We're gonna take it to the recycle station. And we'll get some bazooka ammo and the pap pap. Okay. Now, that double bazooka is still on the field. We can still go pick it up later. The nice thing about the map is that it tells you uh, where you've left items. Wow, this... Okay, the, the bullets from the pat pat are kind of slow. And they, they spread out all over the place. I don't know if I like that. It's got a large capacity, though. And yes, you can jump over bullets, which is nice. I'm collecting these gems, which is kind of like a currency. You can use it to buy. Um, you can buy things from this with it. And at the end of every level. Okay. 
Alright, what do we get? Um, Weptech Reload Attack Module. Human Bandolier, Speedy Golden. Let's get the, at the Reload Attack. Bullet Ring on Reload. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> so it just shoots bullets when we reload. Very nice. Alright, well we can kill the boss now. So, let's, uh, let's just check the map here. We got a gun over here, we got some health over here, the boss is currently over here. chase him down. I'm glad I saved all that bazooka ammo. So again, I have to crush that in order to leave. He went to the right. And the environment's hard to strong. So you can uh, kind of like blow away the, uh, the terrain. about the art style that I just want to say is that everything is so weird that it's hard to kind of tell what things are. You kind of have to get used to it. Alright, so we get one guaranteed upgrade. Um, a rebel grenade, charged pepper, uh, let's take the grenade. Grenade on reload. So now, when we fire, well, when we reload our weapon, we have a bullet ring and a grenade. All right. Um, okay, so we can sacrifice this for more health. We could sacrifice health for this. And we could sacrifice our gun for whatever this is. I have no idea what this is, let's find out. Um, accuracy optimizer. Increased accuracy. Okay. So this guy here is kind of random. You pay him, and you keep paying him until he explodes. Now, it's completely random. Well, at least from what I can tell. How, how many times you have to feed him. Um, but he usually drops ammo and health and maybe an upgrade. I'm already full on ammo and health, so I'm gonna leave him alone for right now. Let's go to the next area. One of the few places where the blossoms are busier than the bees. Yeah, but see what I mean? I don't really know what is and what is not an enemy in this right now. I'm just kind of staying away from things that look dangerous. Obviously they're in place. Wait, what? They're not dead? Oh, jeez. Alright. Ooh, we got a... We got a... Bass Hunter. Is this a gun? It is a gun, and it shoots fish. 
amusing, but kind of confusing. Can. Oh, he took a lot of health from us. Hey, there's some health. Yeah, sometimes if you break break stuff, you can get some health. Um, all right. Oh, no ammo. Okay. Switch to our secret. All right, let's grab that. Ah! Okay. Okay. Let's jump in here. Gel, arachnid haste, and a charged pepper. It's got this charged pepper. Melee weapons now shock enemies. Okay, well, we don't have any melee weapons. Uh, maybe we can get one. A thrifle. Oh, wait, no, we want this. Um, we want this. Alright. Let's check what's in here. kind of flashes you can sort of break. Is there an enemy still here? Where? Oh, over here. Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna reload and throw a grenade at it. Boop! <laughs> okay, what do we get? Um, a Porco machine gun. Well, this thing is green and this is blue. 44 bullets, 125. I'm gonna take the Porco machine gun. Uh, frog bullet lotion, explute, and WebTech accuracy optimizer. Let's take this frog bullet lotion. Exploding frog bullets. Don't know what that means. Okay, they bounce. So the bullets now bounce. Where I could buy ammo or health. I don't, I don't think we need either of that. Maybe I should get ammo for the bazooka. 
How much? I have 21. Yeah, let's get ammo for the bazooka. It's pretty cheap. I'm keeping that bazooka as well. Looking at the grenade. Oh, the boss is here. Oh, we're gonna run away from that. I don't think we can kill him yet. See, do we have any health anywhere? None that I left. It would look like a ghost if I just left health. Um, we could buy health for 10. We got 74. Let's buy a health jar. Alright. distance of the grenades. There is an elemental system. I don't understand it. Uh, I know that I can... I can apply certain elements to people with certain upgrades. I don't know what they do. <laughs> oh, I just realized... My rockets are frogging. Oh, 
they're bouncing like like a frog. Here's our guaranteed upgrade. Ooh, what's this? An ab. I don't know what an ab is. Critical hit chance. Awesome. Now we can give up health for whatever that is. Or we can sacrifice this for health. I kind of like the extra reload speed. Um, what is this? So we can give up our... Which one is that? We can give up our bounce gel for whatever this is. Let's try that. I don't really need my bullets to bounce off walls. Um, spirit insurance. Cheat death once. Ow. Okay. Let's uh let's pay this guy. Okay, so we got some ammo. And we could get the bay bow instead of this. Let's, you know what? Yeah, I should have should have done that first. Decided if I wanted the gun first. All right, we're gonna have this bow, and we're gonna have our bazooka. Oh, good. We get to our machine gun is still here. Sacrifice health to use that loot vortex? No, we're not gonna sacrifice health. Not on what I believe is the final boss of this run. Ooh, a broadsword. Yes, please. Oh wow, that, that that's what the shield looks like? Okay. Oh, there's the boss. Alright, so what this boss appears to do is summon copies of previous bosses. Oh, and uh, I don't think I mentioned, but the melee weapons actually have combos. We need to get rid of the bosses on this. Oh yeah, he doesn't leave you alone. We need to find the rest of the boss's uh, defensive totems. Wait, was that one? Have combos. 
And you can reset the combo by the garden. Anyway. Alright, I think that was a run. And the runs get harder the higher up in difficulty you go, um, but yeah, this this game is awesome. It's quick, um, it's a roguelike, you know. Uh, you can you can just do a couple runs, you know, just have a good time. Um, I really like this. Uh, the cutesy art style takes some getting used to. It's definitely hard to figure out what things are, but I'm sure, you know, you can after a couple of plays you'll figure out what is what and what to avoid. Um, but yeah, I have been the Blue Fox. This has been Voidigo. Thank you very much. Have yourself a wonderful day.